Well, it's good to be here with you again today. And I just want to take a reading from Hebrews chapter 13, uh, verse 15. Therefore, by him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. A sacrifice costs. And um, it's easy to praise God when we're feeling good. But there are times when we don't feel good. And uh, because of the circumstances, all kinds of situations we might be confronted with daily uh, at times, not all the time. But th that's the time when, when it's a sacrifice to praise God at those times when we don't feel like it. Because a, f a sacrifice costs. That's what a sacrifice is. It's something that costs. And so really, when you're praising God at those times, you're really coming against the tide. But the Bible says that it's uh, an offering to God. It's the fruit of our lips. And it gives thanks to his name. And I'm sure that when we do that, God is blessed. But it's not only that. There's more to it than that. Because the Bible says, God inhabits the praises of his people. Now it's fine. When God asks you to do something, when you really don't feel like doing it, especially if, if he asks you to praise him when you don't feel like praising him, or he's asking you to do something when you feel, don't feel like doing it, then that's when God intervenes with something great. And so the Bible says God inhabits the praise of his people. And so, like I say, you could be in a meeting, everybody's feeling good, the preacher's feeling good, all the people are feeling good, and it, the music's good, and everybody can feel free to praise the Lord. But as a minister of God, I've been in meetings, and I've waited, and the people started to fill up, the meetings started to fill up, and they all came in, and they looked at me, and I've been in meetings, I've been in meetings where they've been full of the power of God, but there's been meetings where I've had people come in, and they sat there looking at me with stony faces. And, uh, and I could see that there was something controlling the whole situation. It was demonic spirit. Uh, just basically controlling and putting people into bondage. And they didn't know it. They weren't aware of it. And then the Lord spoke to me and, uh, and said, start, start to praise me. Start to praise me. Start to praise me. So that's what I did. I, got, I started to praise God and I just started to praise God myself and encouraged everybody else to start praising God. And at the beginning it was difficult and that, but after a while we started to praise God and carry on praising God. And, you know, shouting's involved here. Now you might say, shouting? Oh, that's irreverent. No, the Bible's full of shouts, actually. If you look in your concordance in your Bible, you'll find that the Bible is full of shouts. Let me just have a look at Isaiah Chapter 12, it says, verse 6, Cry out and shout, O inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy, Holy One of Israel in your midst. Shout! Who's, are you an inhabitant of Zion today? If you're born again, you are. And the Bible says, because God is great in your midst, shout to him. When you're full of the Holy Spirit, and you have God in your heart, the power of God in your heart, and you realize the great things God has done for you and who he is, you can't help but shout. Now, if you start to read through the Bible, you look in the book of Revelation, it's full of shouts. When the angels were claiming in the book of Revelation, they, always, they were all shouting. And you know, if you've heard an angel shout, it's pretty awesome. When the walls of Jericho fell down, before they fell down, everyone was told to shout. They've been silent for a few days, and then God said, shout. And because they shouted, the Holy Spirit knocked down the walls. You see, that's what happens when you're in the midst of a meeting, or you're in the midst of a situation. When you shout, the Holy Spirit starts to break down the barriers. They start to come down. And like I say, I've been in meetings. And when it was like that, dead, stony face, and everything, devil in control. But then when they got everyone to praise and to start to really praise louder and louder and louder, when they went out that meeting, everyone was liberated, they were shining, the faces were shining, and they were blessed in the Lord. Sometimes, but you know when we're trying to do that and God's telling you to do it, it's not easy because you think, oh, what will people think and everything else? That can happen, and it can happen with us as well. Oh, what? I can't do that, don't feel like it. Or, you know, nobody feels like it. And as a minister, you know, I... This is going to be difficult. But if God said 
do it, do it. It works every time. I've done it so many times. It works. You, even if you're just playing your guitar on your own or some musical instrument and uh, you feel... I always find it's a good time to play a musical instrument when you're feeling a bit low or you're feeling, you know, it's a bit mundane and everything. And then you start to play an instrument. You see, in the Bible, the prophets played their instruments and prophesied. See, it's a lot easier to prophesy when there's music going. When it's music that's, uh, you know, directed to God, the anointing comes down. You see, God inhabits the praises of his people. That's what the Bible says. So when we start to praise God, especially through a sacrifice of praise, God's presence is there. And then God starts to work. He can work in signs, wonders and miracles. Everybody's liberated. Everybody's blessed. So I want to encourage you today to do that. There's so many um, much in here in the Bible. It says, oh, Lord, I will praise you and so on, and then I will trust and not be afraid, for Yah, the Lord is my strength and song. He has also become my salvation. He's a song in our heart. He's done so much for us. Let's praise him today, Yah. Um, it's a shorter form of the Lord's name, Yahweh or Jehovah. That's what Yah means in that uh, Isaiah chapter 12. Now, uh, just let me turn to Psalm 47 verse 1. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. Shout to God with the voice of triumph. So today, I want to encourage you, whatever you're feeling like, to shout with, to God with the voice of triumph because he's triumphed for us through the cross. And I want to tell you today, when Jesus comes back, he's coming back with a shout with the voice of the archangel and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And those who are alive at that point will be taken up with, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. So start to do your shouting today and your praising today and the anointing of the Spirit will come down and liberate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening today.